What is up everybody, Golden Yogi here, and you are tuning into the channel with the Golden Perspective. Today we are going into something interesting. This has been a fun journey for myself so far, and now that I feel like I have my head wrapped around this pretty well, I'm here to share. I shared with a couple friends who have come in to the Temple Dao, and I've met a lot of friends along the way so far. Before we get any further, I want to kindly invite you to subscribe down below if you have not already. Thank you to all those who have, I appreciate it. While you're down there, be sure to turn on the post notifications so you know when the next video is coming up. And leave me a comment, let me know what you think about this. and. I really want to know. My one request is that you please use kindness and compassion as a filter before leaving a comment. Just be civil in your discourse is all I'm saying. Also, while you're down in the description, you can find the link to my library channel, also known as Odyssey. This is, they are leading the way in uh, censorship resistance of video content out there. So please do yourself a favor and go follow me there. Now let's get into it. What is Temple Dao? You know, you got pretty simple looking website. I imagine this is going to update soon, but uh, it's has quite a feeling of the occult okay um i'm gonna go the, the website is simple there's not much you can see right now the only thing we can see right now is what the price of temple is floating at what the current apy is and how much the treasury has <clears throat> okay but before any of that even matters i'm gonna really stick to what it is okay there's a bunch of other things you know how you find out more there's medium articles definitely get into the discord twitter is a good place to start if you want to chase it down because you'll find all the other links to stuff there then you need to get verified simple i'm not going to take you any further than this right now read the pinned message in this channel verify yourself or not going to make it channel you can learn all about what these roles mean. But let's get into the mechanics. The key features of Temple Dao. So first off, we have the safe harvest. This is a mechanism in which the Temple Dao guarantees that the temple rewards for stakers can only be minted when there's an appropriate growth in the protocol reserves and intrinsic value. So we're gonna, if we can see it here, IV is going to be intrinsic value moving forward. So the intrinsic value is an important metric that determines the price of the purchase floor of Temple. It's defined as the value in the treasury divided by the total supply of Temple. Because what's different here is where Temple, I wouldn't say is, well, a lot of people in the Discord would say it's, it's not a fork. I would go ahead with the semantics I use. I would say it is, but it's not It's not a copy and paste. It's not just to change the name. It's utilizing other features from things like Ohm, uh, Time, tools like this, but trying something different. So where those other ones have their uh, bonding and whatnot, they all, they use everything, as I understand, uh, all trading and buying and selling, all purchasing is happening completely on an AMM, like sushi swap or something. Okay. This is done through the front door, which is a web-based over-the-counter decentralized application or DAP, OTC DAP. 
It allows for the increase in temple reserves that can be that can generate yield. So in the yield, when yield rewards become available to stakers in the form of new temple tokens, the safe harvest mechanism ensures that tokens will not be minted excessively and cannot dilute the intrinsic value of the temple itself. This achieves a safer yield reward program backed by real growth of the value preservation of the reserves, excellent return of yield rewards in the form of temple back to the stakers, and liquidity for the protocol to build a roadmap and invest into its future. Okay. <clears throat> so it's utilizing this decentralized application. All right. And again, as just think about this, okay, it's going to, it uses Frax. So you basically put Frax in, you get Temple out at a set price at any moment. Okay. Whatever it says, that's what it is. Okay. Yes. an AMM is a DAP. But that's a free market floating DAP. This is based on this. Okay. So it's got, this is the intrinsic value. How much is in the treasury divided by the total supply. So if the treasury increases and supply is about the same, then intrinsic value goes up. And so it can print rewards, which then in turn increases the supply. Okay. But we'll get, we'll get a little further here because there are, there's a floor and a ceiling, but essentially stakers will receive temple because there's an opportunity here inside the treasury to go and create yield in other places. So if it can create yield also in other places, then it's not a zero sum game anymore. It can take these features and roll it back in to buy temple, perhaps sell it uh, or not sell it, but reward it to the stakers. Okay. So we can take rewards. It earns in other places, sell that buy token or buy temple. Okay. <clears throat> Number two, the safe premium. Now this is all, I, let me go back just a minute. Cause if, if people have been watching my channel for years, I know I've been, I have not been doing a whole lot lately, but I've worked a lot in decentralized applications and, uh, you know, some of these old, old predecessors like proof of weak hands, so many other games and whatnot that were big and groundbreaking at the time, but they proved to be very simple compared to these mechanisms, mechanisms, because they ended up just being a uh, zero sum game. All right, moving on. So the safe premium is the mechanism by which the temple DAO protocol determines the intrinsic value of the temple token itself. So while the intrinsic value of temple will be determined by the total value of its reserves divided by the total circulating token supply, temple will have a fixed price ceiling of three to six times the intrinsic value as governed by the DAO and programmed into the protocol. This fixed ceiling price will be available to Templars purchasing temple from the OTC DAP, which disincentivizes buying temple above the safe premium on an open market AMM. Additionally, if the AMM temple price rises above the safe premium, an arbitrage opportunity is created where users can buy from the DAP, from the OTC DAP, and then sell on the AMM for a profit, which will dampen the pool volatility and the price action. So it smooths it all out. The end result of purchasing temple over the, in the OTC DAP is that more funds are now funneled into the treasury reserves instead of sitting in a liquidity pool that isn't doing anything for anyone's earnings. Yes, we've been under the understanding for quite some time that look, having more liquidity is great because it creates more of a market. But this seems to be more of an investment device, not a pool by which to trade through. 
So it funnels into the treasury reserves, thereby increasing the intrinsic value of Temple, leading to more long-term price stability. Now let's take a look at what does that mean? So let's say you got, you know, price of Temple's kind of doing its thing over time, right? So I'm gonna just draw this out. So this was, this. let's say this was the, the OTC. Okay, and then let's say, oops, let's say on the AMM, which has open liquidity, is is tracking pretty much kind of you know the same thing it's coming this way coming this way like then let's say it it came up right here what would happen let's say the price came up higher faster on the amm like sushi swap or wherever uniswap who knows where it's going to be um the arbitragers would immediately buy off of here at a lower price because look at that delta from here to here right we don't know it's not percentage because this is just an abstract but they'd buy here sell it here which would then start to maybe not drop the price immediately but maybe smooth it out to where now we're back on track okay and let's say it does it again but then it puts it all back on track you understand? This is really cool. This is utilizing all the tools available from the way I'm seeing it. All right, so now we got the bonus rewards. Occasionally, the Temple DAO safe harvest of rewards will have accumulated excess rewards. This means that they can offer higher than usual rewards for a limited time. Because the rewards are limited by growth and in intrinsic value, this only is only possible at certain times or for limited volume. So what that means is the treasury has grown larger than the value of the temple tokens inside this intrinsic value uh, calculation. Okay. So the value in the treasury has gone up, but the supply is saying, saying, you know, uh, it's basically a lot higher, so it can kick out bonuses. So when they have excess, excess rewards available, the temple creates a special offer, a rare opportunity to earn a higher, otherwise unavailable APY. This is the special side entrance to the temple, only open when we have the excess rewards available to do so. So you gotta stay focused, you gotta be prepared. Most likely people will also build bots for this. Next, what happens in this example if it happens the other way? You know, let's uh let's say we let's say this was the initial initial you know price run and it's following, following, you know, following, following, and then it starts coming uh, down below. Okay, leave it right there. Come on. So if it comes down below like this, okay, and the price on the AMM is cheaper, well, wouldn't people want to go buy on the AMM and then dump this? in the OTC desk to redeem because there is, you can always redeem your temple from the OTC desk as well. Let's go read on. You have the unstake queue. This is a feature that is designed to prevent unnecessary liquidity runs. Because if a bunch of people saw that, they're like, ah, I mean, cause let's say this was, oops. Undo. Let's say that uh, that run was, oh, no, the whole thing's gonna stay as one polygon. So let's say the run was much lower and people were going, oh, let's unstake because like, let's, you know, capitalize on that. Well, they've been slowed down by this unstaking queue. So it reduces the volatility and preserves fairness. 
It's very simple. When you unstake your temple, you enter an orderly queue to exit. Every block, a specific volume of temple is processed for unstaking. When you unstake, you will be told by which future block your temple will be fully processed by and available to withdraw. Okay, so that's one way to slow it down. The next is the temple defend. This one I think is even more pop, uh, uh, powerful. The defend mechanism activates if excessive selling pressure on an AMM pushes the temple price too low by rewarding the Templars that are already uh, that are ready to defend the price. Temple defend gives any temple holder the right but not obligation to some to sell their temple to the temple DAO at the defend price. It's going to give them an uh, an opportunity and the temple price set above the price on the AMM and stake it in a separate temple temple defend so a separate contract called the temple defend contract for a specific amount of time at the expiry of the designated contract time if the temple rises above the intrinsic value the templar has just made a profit and can continue staking in the general staking contract it just moves it right over if the temple price is below the intrinsic value at contract expiry the temple price will be sold for stable coins using the defense price again turning a profit for the templar so it was a win-win and in this it comes in to help slow down the pressure on the amm that pushes the temple price too low which just like i was saying in this one what it's doing is smoothing it out so it gets right back up in sync Temple Offense, there's a future meet and prayer. What I can suggest is you go into the Discord, you can listen to the, or read the, the manuscript that called the prayer four. There's uh, a roadmap. Um, this is a little outdated. I highly suggest if you wanna stay on top of this thing, you need to get involved in the, uh, in the Discord. So they see the Temple DAO paradigm as an exciting development in DeFi, as do I. The goal is to bring in more sophisticated trading strategies, strategies owned and governed by the community for the benefit of all Templars. Here are ideas for growing the treasury and the intrinsic value of the protocol in the medium and long term. Four ways. Increase money flows of Temple through the DAP. That increases the, uh, uh, you know, you get more people to buy uh, Temple. Or not more people because more fracks coming in you have more stable coin to go and invest investing the treasury assets in the partnerships and investments that grow the treasury then launching additional staking products the temple token is the first staking option but there is the possibility of staking a whole range of extra assets to automate and stabilize treasury gains similar to yfi you're in finance which automates yield the future of Temple DAO is to automate spot assets and the ability to transform the profile of that return. The goal is to have the best community-driven derivative strategy and multi-vault investment pools that allow you to choose your desired level of risk and return simply by staking. This saves on gas and slippage fees by pooling investments with other Templars, optimizing risk profiles and yields. <clears throat> Then there's the NFT collaborations in Metaverse. Templars already visit Temple DAO and the Crypto Boxes Metaverse. If you've never been in there, go check it out. In the future, NFTs will drive community access products and special offers, which will also grow the TVL, the total value locked base, which long-term vision is for Temple DAO to be a home in the Metaverse. Entering our Metaverse Temple and its secret chambers, you will have the access to special offers, get the best deals on staking, a range of assets, on the protocol for automated and stabilized gains, which will be regulated by NFTs. Like in the Discord voice chat, you will be able to interact with Templar guides in the metaverse that are verified and can help guide your journey safely and securely. So cool, because if you've been inside voice, verified voice, you would know already. So what's happened so far, there's been a fire ritual started on September 29th, and it ended on this last full moon, uh, October 21st. But it's not really completely over, it looks like. There's been some updates. So you need to go check out the Medium articles. Come check it out. 
because the developers have chosen to slow this down a little bit instead of just releasing it and letting people go crazy there are a lot of controls here i'm seeing to allow this to be sustainable because when i mean in some regard if people look at a 3687 percent apy that's crazy People are, you know, getting 2% in the, the fiat currency world. But when you compare it to the 8,000% of uh, Olympus Tau or the 55,000 in Wonderland, um, I don't even know with Abracadabra money, there's so many of these moving up that it's, it's hard to believe. So this is just saying, why, why, why? This is what I get out of this is why go for that high? It's cool. It builds up a lot of uh, anxiety though. It's sort of like sitting there looking at trades all the time. You know, that's what you want to do. It's your prerogative. Not my cup of tea though. So I'm going to leave it right there. And you can go read up for yourself. Again, the Medium articles and the call to prayers, which you will get access to once you get into the Discord and get yourself verified. Remember, right up here. It's right here. Just read the pinned message inside the verify yourself dash or not going to make it channel. If you don't, you just may not make it. So use your voice, activate your voice, get verified, and I'll, hopefully I'll see you in there. Again, please let me know what you think. I am eager to hear from you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you all. Hopefully I'll see you in the temple, either in Discord voice, text chat, or in the metaverse. Peace.